So to just get this over with and done with, what evidence do we have? What evidence do we have? We got the before and after photos, which are they even actually part of the case, right? It doesn't look like the same person. There's also something about two gurneys, but the two before and after they don't look the same. There's two court cases, and their uh, allegations stemming from witnesses, eyewitness testimony is a form of evidence. So you got Jane Doe and you have Tiffany Doe. That's actually a lawsuit against Trump. But the two court cases, there's a defamation case. There's there's two court cases. There's already one that's settled, but then there's also another one by Jennifer. There's one by Virginia, and then there's one by Jennifer. And Jennifer is the one that had pushed for this farther. She's going after the estate. There's $70 million. You know, Epstein had property in New Mexico. Florida, New York, he's got that little St. James Island, so he's got three states, three American states and Virgin Islands, so that's in U.S. territory. He's got uh, Palm Beach property, he's got an office in Harlem, he's got a $70 million mansion in New York City in Manhattan on Long Island, well, the richest place, the richest, the best, most expensive place on Long Island, and then he also has a ranch in New Mexico. The missing videotape evidence, I feel like, show us the fucking videotape, what's, what is taking us so long? The roommate was taken out of the prison cell, I mean, that could be good or bad, just this perfect storm of events, where essentially they're, they're working overtime, there's a new prison corrections guard, and then their, the roommate was returned, he was on suicide watch, they took him off suicide watch, they're overworked, they're not doing the 30 minute, you know, interval checks. And then he kills himself, right? So if he kills himself, that's, you know, who gives a shit? If he fucking killed himself, the AOC, she was, you know, just, if there's foul play, I want to know what the fuck is going on, so. Epstein reached settlements with a number of victims, so that seems guilty. He reached settlements with them. And the sex parties, these pedophile sex parties that on the Lolita Express and on Pedophile Island, could he have been using these sex parties to gain influence over powerful people? Is it Russia? Is it Israel? Is it Hillary? Is it Donald? Is it the FBI? Is it CIA? Who the hell is he? Who's his boss, right? Who's, or maybe it's the, you know, Occam's Razor, just the official story. He's a sick pervert offering these pedophile sex parties, and then all these sick people are, you know, you know, joining them, and so that's, that's his thing, but he's a money manager, and he's making millions of dollars, anyways, so Alan Dershowitz is a Harvard professor, the Dershowitz was on Epstein's defense team, and so was Kenneth Starr, Kenneth Starr said that Bill Clinton was a pervert, and now Kenneth Starr is a defender of Jeffrey Epstein in his 2007 court case in Florida, so what's Kenneth Starr doing there, Alan Dershowitz, Kenneth Starr, Lisa Bloom represented the victims, so you had, I think, Katie Johnson, Jane Doe, and Tiffany Doe. These are the ones that are going to accuse Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein of uh, raping them both. And so Lisa Bloom had represented the victim. They filed a court case in California, dropped it, filed one in New York, dropped it, and they said because of threats against their life. And then the charges was that this was politically motivated. So either Lisa Bloom just, you know, created a Katie Johnson out of thin air, or there is a Katie Johnson, and Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein had raped this, you know, 13-year-old girl. And they violently raped her, and it was, you know, like super fucked up. And Epstein, let's see, Lisa Bloom is the one that represents the victims, the Kevin Spacey, Bill Clinton, they flew on the Lolita Express in the early 2000s. Comedian Chris Tucker was on the Lolita Express. He went to Africa to tour AIDS prevention and treatment project sites. So, you know, I, I feel like Chris Tucker, Michael Wolf, nah, I like Chris Tucker, right? No, nah, there's no way he didn't. Michael Wolf, no, nah, Vanity Fair's Michael Wolf. He flew on Epstein's personal plane. Epstein was followed by three teenage girls, not his daughter, and he said they're about 18, 19, 20, and they're model-like. So Michael Wolf is on Epstein's Lolita Express. Michael Wolf is going to be the fire and fury guy. And Epstein is going to tell Michael Wolf that he likes young girls. And then Michael Wolf says, well, you should 
you mean young women, right? That that's what you're you're saying, young young women, right? So Jane Doe, and so actually, I wonder if actually, why did Epstein ask him that? Was he trying to get Mark Wolfen on his thing so that way he can? So either he's a sicko, he's a sick pervert who's you know throwing these sick pervert parties so he can uh, you know offer a service to the rich and powerful, or he's you know, essentially acting like he offers these services in order to, you know, get the, uh, some incriminating evidence, get them, you know, some videotape of them with, you know, an underage hooker. So, yeah, um, the last thing I'll mention is that the Jane Doe and Tiffany Doe case it has been kind of crazy that in the Me Too era and that this hasn't came up, but she's 13 years of age. The description in the lawsuit, you're not allowed to file lawsuits and it'd be, like, wrong, right? in that, like, fact? The law, so the Jane Doe, Tiffany Doe, Doe the Katie Johnson is going to file these lawsuits. They're going to try to find out who Katie Johnson is, and they don't know if she even exists. So the address that was used was a foreclosed abandoned house. The phone number was disconnected. So the address goes to an abandoned house, and the phone number went nowhere. So the information that was put down, was she homeless? Is that what they're saying? They're homeless? Or they just used these fake addresses so that way, you know, she couldn't, nobody could follow her and find out who she is? And, um... And I don't know, I mean, maybe not Secret Service detail, but there seems like there could be some federal agency or some state agency. I heard the bikers were protecting child, um, the kids that were getting child abused in Arizona. So, and there's some biker group that could protect this poor girl. So, Katie Johnson, I think it's Katie Johnson, they called her Jane Doe in the lawsuit. She had a witness, Tiffany Doe, uh, Tiffany Doe. So both Jane and Tiffany Doe are witnesses to Donald Trump raping her along with Jeffrey Epstein. So what's the distraction? There's Venezuela blockade, the gun control is pushing, and you know Donald Trump is associated with this sick creep from fucking hell, this you know Epstein the creep. So and he was friends with him for 15 years, you know, for a long ass time. It wasn't just four trips and a trip to the office. So compared to Bill Clinton, Donald Trump has more to answer. He's got some more explaining to do than um, Bill Clinton. They all do. They all got some explaining to do. And, uh, yeah, I hope the investigation warrants something. I hope something comes out of all this. But uh, I've, I've done my part, right? I, I've compiled all these facts, and so I'm a peasant. I don't know if the rich and powerful did this, and they got to him, and they did a professional hit job. We're never going to find out who did it. And so the investigation could be part of the cover-up, right? I mean, it could be a uh, Reichstag thing. So Donald uh, orders the hit, blames it on Hillary. They order this fake investigation, just like Putin. He, they investigated themselves, found themselves guilty of no wrongdoing, and now, you know, they said it was Lee Harvey Oswald. They pinpointed a patsy, and uh, now, now it's all over. Now the investigation is over. Oh, boy. So... Yeah, I guess I don't have much confidence. I am happy. I, I feel like I want to see what happens. I want to see what the investigation brings out. And I want some finality. I want some closure. I want some. I want a videotape. I want a videotape that shows me clearly whether he was murdered or not murdered. And I want, if they don't have videotape of his cell, I want videotape of people that was around him in his cell. And there was screams. I heard there was screams. And so I want not only videotape of, you know, the surveillance videotape, but also want all the people that knew him and all the jailers. I want all these people interviewed and talked to and uh, thoroughly vetted. And I want the videotape of them walking around, too. So I want to know all the circumstances of that floor, of that room, of that building, who controlled the, the main entrances. Anything and everything, right? Anything and everything would be suspect. It seemed like I would think it'd be easy to find out because if it's videotape, unless somebody, you know, I guess blacked out the video, there would have been somebody on the inside, though. So the guard wasn't his typical guard. That Tagtilioni, the Italian roommate, ex-cop who was charged with murder, but not convicted, just charged with murder. So anyways, um, yeah. So there are the facts that I have been able to find out. 
in the you know one or two days after after all this happens. So may, hopefully that'll help to you know inform you or carry the case investigation along. Maybe may, might make you think about something you hadn't thought about before. So anyways, you know, I don't know how to end this. So, say law fucking V. See you later, you know, fucking Epstein. Another pedophile killed himself. Who gives a shit? Fuck him. But maybe that makes him the perfect victim, right? Who gives a shit about his life? So, that's why, you know, that's great for the death penalty argument, but in terms of who else was involved, so a lot of powerful and rich people got away with their shit. Epstein got away with it for a long ass fucking time, but eventually he paid the ultimate price. But how many other people don't pay any price whatsoever? And if he was getting dirt on people, then he had a million enemies. And there's a million people that wanted this to happen. Success has a million fathers to feed as an orphan. So everybody's going to run away from this guy. And I don't know. I hope the victims get a big chunk of that estate. I hope the victims do get paid. You know, there's inheritance laws in the the money, I don't know. I think this is going to be a, another OJ thing. It's going to be more sensational. So that people are going to stick with this. I've said my piece, and I've said my piece just so that I've said something. Now I could go back and talk about Jill Stein. Okay, Jill Stein, she's the one that got the recount. She got the Pennsylvania settlement, okay? So Jill Stein completely changed the game. She's revolutionary. She's awesome. I'm not in favor of gun control. I hate that the blockade of Venezuela is happening. And so... Get back on track, America. Come on. Shit. You know this is just a bunch of sensational bullshit. You know it. You know it. Just give it a month. Let's see what William Barr says. Maybe it'd be like the Mueller report, right? Just some old man fucking stuttering and farting and not saying shit about shit. And so we find out nothing. Jesus, we don't even know what the hell is JFK. No, all the questions with 9-11. You know, they don't tell us. They don't. They keep us in the dark, right? They treat us like mushrooms. They keep us in the dark and just feed us a bunch of shit. These motherfuckers, man. These motherfuckers.